for papillary cancer for uh, renal cell carcinoma, so there are there are uh, two types. One is papillary type one. The other one is called type two. So type one actually has a higher frequency of a gene mutation. Uh, uh, it's called MET mutation. So Dr. Uh, Shirari actually did a, a clinical trial with a MET inhibitor that showed uh, some modest activity. Uh, but that CMET inhibitor, according to his talk today, uh, is not, it's not a very pure inhibitor. So right now, I think uh, they are planning to do another more pure MET inhibitor. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, this, this new MET inhibitor can, can have more clinical activity uh, in this type of cancer. So right now, we are still relying on, you know, drugs that are for the common clear cell carcinoma to treat these rare types of tumor. But clearly, they have different, you know, drivers of gene mutation for, uh, for this rare type of kidney cancer. So by using one class drug, uh, another class, or other classes of uh, tumors, that may work well. So I think as long as we track the biology of this rare uh, kidney cancer and uh, you know, design drugs to target these changes, uh, the hope will be, will be higher in the future. So. I think you know, for clear cell renal cell carcinoma, I think the, the future is bright. So we have already have you know, quite a few drugs available uh, uh, for this common type of cancer. For rare tumors, uh, they are getting more and more attention from the, from the oncology field. And uh, once the drug companies figure out, you know, these agents can be, especially these immunotherapy agents, can be used for the common uh, kidney cancer. And uh, once they are approved by the FDA, it's very possible that uh, they can be used for, for this re rare uh, kidney cancer because immunotherapy normally activate the immune system to a attack cancer. So it doesn't care about which type of cancer it is. So I think uh, from this standpoint, I think the, the, the future for, um, for this non-common kidney cancer is also brighter than before.